What's up, everybody? This is CTG to Collect to coming to you with another action figure review on the Mr. Z 7 inch pocket Zootopia collection series number one, Slothy Sue. If you want to pick this bad boy up, you can get it from VC Toy Box. I will leave a link uh, in the description below to that website. And I think he's sold out right now, but I'm pretty sure you'll probably be getting some more in. Uh, he does a well, good job, I mean, you know, selling these Mr. Z 7 inch uh, Zootopia figures. Um, there was a way to that just came out with like a bunch of cats, which looked pretty good. And I think those sold out right away. And uh, right now for, for pre-order, he has third wave coming out with, I believe, a chipmunk, a mouse, and uh, I think a beaver. So these are some pretty dope figures, man. A pretty good take. Nice action figures. Um, I'm loving them, man. The modern look that they have. Uh, it, it, it's just dope. It's just dope. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into this. Um, Figure we're gonna start off as always with articulation. So the head looks down that much, it looks up that much. You can get a full rotation out of the head. And for the arms, <clears throat> his arm will go up that much. You have double jointed elbows. The wrist is on a ball peg, so you can kind of get that to move in different directions however you want it. Uh, let me see what else we got here. Get that arm back down without breaking it. So I did turn it. There we go. All right, let's get that back in place. There is some tilt at the head as well, so you can get the tilt going on. The head turning. Or tilting side to side, I mean, I'm talking about turning. <laughs> Take the other hand out the pocket. There is some rotation at the upper area like the upper torso area and at the hips i believe so you got some at the hips and the upper torso area as well so let's see what else we got here so the leg kicks forward that much he does have double jointed knees and the leg kicks back and not so much far back so you got that but that's about it And for the feet, almost forgot, he has good ankle pivot. And you can rotate the feet all the way around. So, pretty good. Oh, and an open thigh cut. I'm forgetting a lot of stuff now. <laughs> I'm so excited about this figure, though. I'll blame it on that. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and stick his hands back in his pockets. Jacket pockets. And I'll explain the flesh tone a little bit later. Um, as we get further into this review, so let me go ahead and stick these in his hoodie pockets. And we're going to talk about some of these accessories. We'll stand him there, have him looking nice. Let's get into it. So, first thing we have is a peace sign hand or him chucking the deuce, and it's in flesh tone. That's one of the hands that we get. You also get a trigger finger hand, which I don't know why. I think with all the um, overseas accessories, uh, you'll get a trigger finger hand for some reason. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a cell phone holding hand, you know, whatever you want it to be. You get a open palm hand to wave. You get a thumbs up hand. And you get two feet which i will never use for this figure so just something extra he also comes with his own paw which came on the figure when it came in the packaging um but i got a story for this one so yeah the other one got lost in customs i'm guessing um so of course i was stuck with just this one so i figured hey it won't hurt anything i just use the regular hands and it also comes with some extra pegs just in case you break some. And also, because I'm not finished, <laughs> comes with this nice jacket. And on the back, of course, you got some pockets. You open up the pocket in the back. And I guess you can put whatever you want in there. So this is, this is a pretty nice jacket. Pretty nice jacket. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop those wrists off. And we're going to put the jacket on so you guys can see what it looks like in the jacket. 
but these figures look dope, man. I love to see um, stuff like this. Uh, I blame it on Mezco. Uh, when they gave us Gomez, that kind of did it for me. Um, to see this kind of thing, it, it, it really works, and I'm loving it. Let's go ahead and get those arms in there. And it gives you like that type of New York type vibe. I wish I would have had some Timberland boots to put on him and he'd have killed it. But it gives you like that that New York looking vibe. Let's see, get that hand back on. There we go. And they pop in pretty easy. I will say uh, some of the other hands you will have to heat up in order to get them to do right because... It won't work. Let's pop this on here. And it'll take some force, of course. So there you go. So now the hands are in. Pull that sleeve down. And now he has on his bomber jacket with his hoodie. To bring out the look. I'm really, really, really thinking about getting some kicks, man made so that I can um put him on his feet. I love the shoes that he got on, don't get me wrong. They kind of remind you of Yeezys, but, you know, I'm going to see if I can find somebody that can make some with the peg size that he has. And uh, that'll be nice. He also comes with a backpack. A little pleather backpack, leather straps. Um, and, oh, that lifts up. And you got some pockets, so I guess you can stick something in there, maybe like a notepad or like a little small something, you know, whatever you choose. And I'm not going to wrestle with that, let that be. But yeah, and I think all the other ones come up too, and it's pretty much, I think it's like plastic in the inside. And being that it's difficult to get these straps back in, I'm not going to take it out. But yeah, this is what we have. So he comes with a decent amount of accessories. He comes with a great look. Um, this figure is nice, man. I would encourage you guys to check out VC Toys, where I was able to purchase this figure from. And uh, it may take you a minute to get it, but it's a nice figure and it's worth the wait. I love it. And uh, I feel like everybody should have it in this collection. So we're going to stand him back up. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put his hands behind his back. Just kind of give him a different look. And we're going to talk about size comparisons. Standing right here. So I can get him stand up straight. Looking dope. There we go. Look good on camera. And we're going to do some size comparisons. So we're first going to start off with another cloth figure. Agent Gomez. This is how he looks. And he fits pretty well. Me, personally, I think he fits pretty well with Gomez. So we're going to go with that. This is how he sizes up with a classified G.I. Joe's. Hold on. Let me fix that. Classified G.I. Joe's snake eyes. Y'all forgive me. I got a cough drop in my mouth, you know, to kind of suppress this coughing. So forgive me if y'all can hear that. Get that together. Get him standing up straight. This is crazy. I've never had this truck. Kind of trouble having him stand up straight. Okay, there we go. That'll do. Then we're going to take Gomez out. Put an articulated icons ninja in. We'll remove Mr. Snake Eyes. And we'll size him up with a MCU Marvel Legends Captain America. Sizes pretty well. For a 7-inch, it looks like a 6-inch. But, you know, who am I to complain? Then, we're going to add a DC Essentials red hood. Get him standing up straight. I always have issues standing him up straight. Now, I did it yesterday. But, for some reason, he won't stand, so... Now, that's a true 7-inch, and he's not that tall, so, which is cool with me. Like I said, it's a dope figure. Six inches, it fits. 
And of course, last but not least, we're going to size him up with a Hellbat armor from McFarlane Toys. DC Multiverse line. And of course, you see, you can't see the Hellbat armor because it's too big. So, but yeah. It's a good figure to have in your collection. I would encourage you to get it. Once again, I'll leave the link to VC Toys website in the description below. I'll also leave a link to my Instagram page, Fear Kids Podcast, and our Fear Kids Instagram page. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, man, enjoy your figures. Have a blessed one. Peace. Thank mm -hmm. you.